or do you assume that uh, happened to those mining machines that the, the Lebanese people bought and they have now? And you know, and this also goes back to the question of scale because it depends how you measure it. You know, you can measure scale of mining operations here by the number of machines, mm. which was something that we did when we conducted the research in in two thousand and twenty-two. They were doing machines and VGAs also. Oh, and VGAs, yeah. Can you share some of them? I, off the top of my head, I don't have the specific st uh, statistics, but hundreds of thousands of machines uh, operating at mm -hmm. the time. However, many of those uh, operators have replaced those machines for machines which are much more efficient. Uh -huh. So, for example, if you saw a comparison of the number of machines operating in Lebanon now compared to today, you might see a decline. Mm. But those machines are much more efficient. They're producing more hash rate. Mm. So, in fact, the effective scale has grown, even though the number of machines has declined. But less people now are, are mining, less so the hash rate will, will be logically less. Yes, and like I say, it's, it's hard to measure because it's so negligible that it doesn't show up on people like Cambridge University who are measuring the global hash rate. It just doesn't register in their, in their metrics.